Hello once again, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. Over the past few days, the Rachel Maddow show on MSNBC has been getting into a little back and forth with U.S. Senate candidate from Florida, Marco Rubio. He's currently running for the Senate seat against uh, Charlie Crist and others. And he put out his 12-point plan to rebuild the nation's economy and create jobs. And in a video posted on his YouTube channel, he asked in the video, how do you know this plan is right? Rachel Maddow thinks it's wrong. That's it. How do you know the plan is a good plan? Because this person over here thinks it's a bad plan. And he didn't go any further than this. What Marco Rubio's plan consists of, among other things, is to extend the 2001-2003 tax cuts, uh, cutting business taxes, ending what he calls double taxation, which is actually the estate tax, and to repeal and replace health care reform, which he calls Obamacare. Now, Rachel Maddow, for her part, has spelled out specifically why she thinks Marco Rubio's plan is bad. For example, it would add to the U.S. national deficit. Not by a few billion dollars, but by a few trillion dollars. 3.5 trillion dollars to be exact. To make the Bush tax cuts permanent, as Mr. Rubio wants, would add another 2.3 trillion dollars to our U.S. national deficit, just by themselves. Ending the estate tax would add another $364 billion. Uh, preventing cap-and-trade energy legislation, another $19 billion. And repealing health care reform, $138 billion, for about $3.5 trillion more on the U.S. national deficit, putting the U.S. more into debt than it already is. This is why Rachel thinks the plan is a bad plan. She's not against the plan because he's a Republican. She's not against the plan because he's a conservative. She's against the plan because it would add to the U.S. national deficit. Now, Rubio has not responded to any of the points that she brought up, just simply saying, you know, Rachel Maddow doesn't like it, so it must be good. Now, if you're going to put up an economic plan for the whole country, you would assume that a person coming up with this plan would themselves be a financial whiz kid. Well, I checked out Marco Rubio's um, article on, on Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia is not like bulletproof or anything like that, but it's usually a pretty good place to start, especially if the points brought up in the article are sourced. And a few days ago, I checked it out, and I saw some things in there that kind of caught my eye, and I checked again earlier today, and all those portions of the article which would be uncomplimentary to Mr. Rubio had been edited out within a very short period of time from each other. And the users, the Wikipedia users who had done these edits, had blanked out sections. Their only contributions to Wikipedia ever were editing Marco Rubio's article on Wikipedia. So fortunately Wikipedia has a history section and you can go back and read those sections of the article that were removed. And uh, what I had discovered makes it very interesting. Now, Mr. Rubio, who thinks that he has the plan to rebuild our nation's economy, he has financial problems of his own. He's pointed out in uh, news sources that Mr. Rubio has a negative financial net worth in excess of $100,000. He's worth negative $100,000. Okay. In addition to this, Mr. Rubio jointly owns a home with uh, state representative in Florida, David Rivera. Rivera, by the way, is also running for Congress. The Deutsche Bank National Trust Company is foreclosing on that home because these two guys, Rubio and Rivera, failed to make payments on that home since January of this year. So they're foreclosing. Okay, so Mr. Rubio you come up with this plan and your statement is that it must be a good plan because Rachel doesn't like it well sir you're not exactly coming from a position of strength you didn't build this multi-million dollar corporation you know and then say well I use my business sense to come up with this plan sir you are a financial failure by every measure there is your house is being foreclosed on 
and you're worth negative 100,000 US dollars. Now you can't manage your own bank account, your own finances, and you want to tell the rest of the country how to manage ours? You want to add another 3.5 trillion dollars to the na US national deficit? You know, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Rubio, you're not coming from a position of authority here. All right, maybe you don't know what you're talking about. Now, Mr. Rubio is an attorney. He attended uh, Tarkio College um, on a football scholarship. Uh, he attended Santa Fe Community College and University of Florida. He earned uh, a Bachelor of Science in Political Science from the University of Florida and um, his JD cum laude from the University of Miami. Now, you would think that he would know something about the law. He's a lawyer and he's a Republican and they're very concerned about private property rights. You know, they want you to keep more of what you earn. They want your property to be safe from the government coming along and taking it away from you. Well, Mr. Rubio seems to have a problem respecting the property rights of others. Case in point, in May, he posted a video on his YouTube channel, which was an attack ad, a one-minute attack ad against his opponent, Charlie Chris. And in this video, he used the Steve Miller song, Take the Money and Run. Unfortunately... Mr. Rubio did not ask Steve Miller's permission to use his song in the video. Steve Miller found out about this video and he sent a note to Mr. Rubio's campaign stating, quote, It has come to my attention that Marco Rubio is using one of my songs in a campaign ad for U.S. Senate. The Steve Miller band and Steve Miller do not endorse Marco Rubio's campaign or any political candidates and respectfully request that Mr. Rubio learn more about publishing law and intellectual property rights. I also ask that in the future he extends me the courtesy of asking permission before using my songs." End quote. Now Miller did not make this statement because he doesn't like Rubio. He made this statement because he doesn't like people using his stuff without his permission. All right, private property rights, Mr. Rubio, something that you as a Republican and especially you as an attorney should know more about than the layman. Now Mr. Rubio can not like Rachel Maddow all he wants. Another Republican up in Massachusetts decided to use the non-existent threat of Rachel Maddow running against him in 2012 as, you know, some s motivation for his supporters to donate money to his campaign war chest. That was Scott Brown. Scott Brown unbalanced. I, I look at some of his political positions. Not unreasonable. I agree with a lot of what he also believes in. I don't agree with him on everything. I just think that using Rachel as a pending threat in order to raise money from his supporters was rather cheap. But Marco Rubio, when it comes to talking about how to rebuild the nation's economy, you don't know what you're talking about. To put your plan into action as it exists would add three point five trillion dollars to the US national deficit. Let's say that again. Three point five trillion dollars to the US national deficit. Mr. Rubio, what is your response? Are these observations correct or are they incorrect? And if they're incorrect, why are they incorrect? Now in light of the fact of what happened to the Wikipedia article on Mr. Rubio, I'm going to take additional safety measures with this video. In addition to uploading it to my YouTube channel, I'm also going to upload it to my DramaTube account so that if it somehow gets flagged or DMCA'd from YouTube, it will still be available at DramaTube where the YouTube flagging system cannot touch it. And I will link to that video on my channel page and I will mention it in future videos. And I will include links to that video on every other video I post on YouTube. And so Mr. Rubio's supporters or whoever those people were who took those pieces out of the Wikipedia article, and I'll check again to see if they're restored. I might do it myself, I don't know. But let's wait and see on this one. I'd like to see if Mr. Rubio can grow a pair and finally respond to Rachel's points. This is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching.